Nintendo used to be a very different company. Throughout the years, they have shifted tones multiple times. If you go all the way back to like the 80s and 90s, they had some of the weirdest and strangest commercials on TV for their video games and consoles. Like, take a look at this one. Hey, little buddy, want a ride? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it gets worse. I'll be right back. Where can you catch all 150 Pokemon? On your Game Boy, that's where no. Pokemon for Game Boy is here. Oh my god. Can I, can I start by saying, creepy as bus driver. If a man looked at me like that and said, Hey, little buddy, want to ride? I'll walk. <laughs> Today, they would never put their most adorable characters imply that they're getting crushed to death. And I want to watch more of these weird commercials, but it's it's funny as well, because I don't, I don't know when this... Game Boy Red and Blue, right? So this has to be, like, mid-90s. But then even if you go to Nintendo's YouTube channel and go back to their oldest videos, even their marketing strategy back here was weird, considering they were trying to portray this family-friendly image. Like this video, where they hired Joel McHale to do a skip video where he's trying to make a viral video... For Nintendo. And I need you to remember before you see this that this is like mid family friendly. This is a viral video <laughs> marketing for the Nintendo 3DS, <laughs> a handheld console that was very much being targeted to a children audience. This is a lot of mods. What the? Hot women can sell anything. Young people can smell a commercial from a mile away. Just like how they can view the incredible 3D technology of Nintendo 3DS at whatever intensity they prefer. He really just read a line that Nintendo handed him while two bikini babes. It's so, it's so strange. And it's, it, it feels wrong, like the tone is off. They were clearly struggling to figure out how they wanted to market their consoles. Let's keep switching back between 10 years ago Nintendo and these old commercials. I can't take it anymore. Fill it in! He talks to Pikachu, Pikachu listens. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm getting fat, I walk myself. Where's the love? <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. Why am I relating to that dog so much in that position saying, Meanwhile, I'm getting fat. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm getting fat. Oh my god, that dog's my spirit animal. Now let's go back to Nintendo's YouTube from 10 years ago. You guys know that I love Skillshare. Oh, I'm sorry, were you watching something? You guys know that I love Skillshare. In fact, a lot of you are probably sick of hearing about how much I learned from Geordie when it came to video editing. So instead of that, Let's try something new today. We'll talk about a whole nother aspect about video production online, and that's marketing. From designing YouTube thumbnails to how to make a Twitch panel. Learning how to stand out is key. So you could also try this hand lettering course by Gia and create a beautiful logo for whatever you have, like this new logo I have now for my podcast. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Anything you could possibly want to learn. You think I'm lying? Here's a course on how to be a better Pokemon player competitively. I mean, that in itself is worth signing up to Skillshare. <laughs> it's less than $10 a month for an annual subscription. Oh, and the best part is the first one that you're gonna get back to the video in a second, okay? It's the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link down below. We'll get a free trial of a premium membership, but it's only 1,000 and they go so fast. So click that link down below really quickly. Help support the channel and support yourself exploring your own creativity. All right, let's get back to the video. I appreciate it, bye. Now let's go back to Nintendo's YouTube from 10 years ago. What I find weird about their very first few videos on the channel, which are for the 3DS, is not only the way they're marketing the 3DS, which it's just so boring. It's so boring. Like, I can't really even make fun of it. It's just so incredibly 
boring. Really impressive. It's amazing. You really get... Uh... It's better than any of the TVs I've seen. I loved my 3DS, but the way they initially marketed it, it's definitely not a console I would have cared about at all. And they're talking about a lot of the games they're playing, but they don't actually show the games or even the 3DS screen at any point while these people are playing the games. I just got a chance to check out the uh, AR games, the augmented reality games, and I can see a lot of titles taking advantage of that. I'll take things that didn't age well for $10. Oh, that's incredible. It's like you're really there. That screen isn't even turned on! <laughs> My man really goes, it's like you're really there. It's like you're really there. No one's held a 3DS, turned on the 3D and gone, whoa, it's like I'm in virtual reality. <laughs> anyway, it's just, it's so strange. Like, why, why didn't, maybe it's because like, I get, I guess the reason is it's supposed to be the 3DS and you can't really film the 3D effect. So if they just turn that off and then film the 2D, then they're all like reacting to this 3D immersion but the viewer in the, in the watching the trailer can only see 2D and they're like, I don't get it. Which is terrible marketing. You can't show the main thing. It's in the name of the console and you can't show it to people before they buy it. I like the 3D much better than the 2D because it just feels more realistic. How? <laughs> How does it feel more real? Anyway, let's go back and watch another old, old commercial. I kind of like jumping in between them. Uh, yeah. We're getting calls about a wild party over here. Know anything about it? Which one of you jokers goes by the name Mario? But it's -a me, Mario. Yeah. I tell it to the judge. So Mario gets arrested for partying with a group of minors. Please have a seat right there. <laughs> no! Nintendo, what did you do? <laughs> and I have to say as well, the only person arrested was the adult Mario, which is also kind of weird because it kind of highlights even more that the only person here that could be arrested was the one adult hanging out with the children. <laughs> this was a really weird thing they did nine years ago on Nintendo's YouTube channel. I don't know where it was filmed, but they got a bunch of celebrities like Cody Rhodes, the wrestler, and Elijah Wood. Let me, let me just show you. So my fondest memory of the Legend of Zelda series in general is probably from the least popular Legend of Zelda game, and that was, uh, I think it's Link's Quest. It was Zelda 2. This is a multi-million dollar, billion probably, dollar company. They've got celebrities in an interview. I actually thought that he filmed this on his own phone or something and like sent it into Nintendo and they were like, ah, we'll throw that up on YouTube, sure, why not? But then as I looked at the channel, I saw they did a bunch more. In fact, listen to Chris Evans's. Chris Evans? Chris Evans at How do you- Nintendo wasn't allowed, so I always had to go to my- Sorry, what was that, Chris? These games. The issue I had was I'd go to their house and I'd want to start from the beginning. You Maniacs. speak up, Chris? So, Are you so recording your order. audio through an old yeah, boot? Yeah. I can't even understand it. Like, I'm not even- I'm not even kidding. Maybe I'm- maybe I'm getting old. But that audio is so bad, I can't even understand what Chris is saying. I, I don't know how they wouldn't have got better equipment for it. First time I played Legend of Zelda was in 1987. What, what are you looking at, Elijah? What's up there? He's- maybe he's wondering where the boom mic is supposed- maybe- may how are they getting my audio right now? I, I'm sure they'll figure it out. Surely they're not using the audio from that, right? There's got to be a microphone around here somewhere. Let's uh, let's go back to the 90s. I'm preferring the 90s ones. I don't know what Nintendo was doing on their channel early. No matter how they toss the dice, it to be. Oh, it's sm oh, okay. I kind of like this one. <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> I like this one. Nintendo's YouTube channel has always been a bit weird. They did this thing at some point where they had these talking tennis balls. They were essentially just talking about Mario Tennis, but it was a whole series on the channel. And I guess it was so bad that they had to turn comments off. I really wanted to know what people were saying about this. That's how you know it's good, you know, when you when you have to <laughs> mute what people are saying about it. Another thing that Nintendo used to do on their channel that they just don't do anymore is collaborate with content creators on YouTube. They were they were they would actually work with other YouTubers and have them make content for Nintendo's official channel. And it's so surreal because Nintendo have just separated themselves so much from that. While they still work with some content creators as Nintendo ambassadors, some 
content creators with Nintendo ambassadors. The connection is very loose. So in this video, they're trying to come up with a a storyline for the new Mario Brothers game. Oh. Groovy, baby, yeah! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> Magic girl. You can't talk about the Fight Club. Time travel. Goombas. Ooh! <laughs> you can't talk about... <laughs> Ooh! I got it! Mario rescues Princess Peach from Bowser! Yeah! It was kind of cringe to get there, but I do find that punchline hilarious. It's the fact that Nintendo approved it, and it's on the official Nintendo YouTube channel. Them making fun of the fact that every single freaking Mario game has the exact same story and premise. I love that they got away with that. I just, I, I, there's something about this that I do love. I love seeing Nintendo work with content creators that love Nintendo. This, in my opinion, was a very special time that can't happen anymore, and that, that's actually kind of sad. But at the same time, um, the same people did this. Guns, 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 body, gory animation, no imagination, DLC creation, social desecration makes a new humiliation. And, and this is, this is on the, the official Nintendo YouTube channel. Okay, maybe we shouldn't go back to this. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the old ones. As Nintendo begins to take on new forms, it's important that we can measure how addictive they truly are. Yeah, you can't do this anymore. You can't. There's so there's so much here that you can't. There's so much that you can't do here. There is so much that you can't. <laughs> that one nintendo let's ignore the absolute obvious and burn that image out of our brains please or else i'll never be able to play my game boy again without thinking about it animal testing that's out no way that would no way that would be okay anymore but also just implying how addictive the video games are i think if we were to jump all the way into 2020 and 2021 the weirdest thing that i don't like that nintendo is doing now it, it, it getting all these celebrities to make commercials, I guess in a way it's like, it's kind of good, I guess, that it's bringing it mainstream more. Like, then, like the Switch is doing so well that they've got these big celebrity names making commercials. It's just that they're all so cringe and obviously faked. Like this one with Brie Larson. Brie Larson plays her favorite Nintendo Switch games, Fortnite. Hello? Hey, Brie. Ah, uh, yes! Wait, Brie, is it a yes or is it a no? Oh, uh, what script? I'm kidding. But, seriously? Nintendo Switch. That's my way to play. It's bad, it's a bad commercial. It's just bad. It's just a bad commercial. I, I don't like, I don't like any of these. We'll take a look at some more, but I, I don't like any of these. I mean, if it's, if it's her favorite game, then maybe... Have the commercial be about why it's her favorite game. Like, what she like about the game. Like, I want to hear Brie Larson talk about her favorite Switch game. That's what I could connect with. Not this fake trailer with a with a fake phone call with a with her agent talking about a script that's not real. Here's one with Serena Williams playing. Of course, her fa of course Serena Williams' favorite Switch game is fitness boxing. Why wouldn't it be? Because <laughs> she plays tennis, right? I wonder if it, at any point during this commercial, she plays a tennis game. <laughs> let's let's place bets. If she plays a tennis game, you smash like on the video. If she doesn't play a tennis game, you, you hit dislike. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Ice time. Losers first. I'm just going to enjoy these two minutes. Yes. Smash like on the video. I don't get, what was the need for this little skit in the middle part with this dude who's apparently a mute and can't talk? He doesn't say one word the whole time, he just shakes his head. I don't know, like, Nint just make him feel real, like, you know? Make him feel real. There's a way, there's a way to make him feel real. I will say that Nintendo's marketing is a lot better these days, like a lot better in this Switch generation than it used to be back in like 3DS and Wii U and stuff. It's just, it's just uh, some of it, I don't know, it feels too commercial for me. It feels too fake. Sorry, is John McHale here again? I thought I was watching a commercial for Pokemon Stadium 2. 
Cause what's cause what's more attitude error than a motor a cross motorbike, whatever they're called, and a and a bikini babe sat in your room while you play Pokemon Stadium 2. What a life. Pokemon in 3D, nothing would impress you anymore. Nothing will impress you. That was a big thing back then. That was a big thing with having, like, girls, women, the attention was on the video game. Like, what what was that? I don't even know if I can find it. Old Game Boy commercial. Ugh, I don't even know what to type without sounding creepy. Um, bed. Let's, let's say bed. We'll say bed, because that will probably... Yeah! Oh my god, I forgot about that one. Oh. I don't know if I can even show it! Like, legitimately, I don't know if I could even put this in my video. But this was the one I was thinking about. The second best thing to do in the dark. It, this is real. This is a from 2006. Doesn't even feel like that long ago. The second best thing to do in the dark. You know, it's, it's not wrong. <laughs> and then this one, which I don't think I can even show, but... I really- I can't. I can't show it. The new Game Boy Pocket, seriously distracting. What- what is the situation here? You've got your lass. You're both- you're all ready. <laughs> Clearly. And then you're- I, I, Go play some Tetris real quick. You, can you just- can you just- are you good? Are you, can you- Do you have- does your nose itch? Can I get that for you real quick while I- I crack out a high score at Tetris. Oh, here's another one. Keep it in your pants. I mean, that's not as bad, but you know what it's implying. Okay, that's not real. That can't be real. What the heck, man? Whoa! Like, I... I, I, I th like, this one's cute. And this was legitimately me back in the day. Like, when I got told to stay in my room, where my N64 was, I was like, oh. Okay, I guess. I mean, <laughs> some of these other... Oh my god. Oh my god. These were worse than the commercials! I didn't know there were so many of- Oh, that's Sega. Sega. <laughs> we're not even gonna talk about Sega. Sega had some bad ones. I don't really have an overarching point to all of this. I- I- <laughs> You know, old Nintendo commercials, we know they were weird. Very weird. Things that you can't really get away with anymore. And we also know that Nintendo's marketing back around the 3DS and the Wii U was horrible. You know, I really I really can't I really can't say anything bad about their marketing anymore. I just don't like those weird celebrity ones, but end of the day like I think Nintendo has come a long way. They've just made a lot of mistakes to get here. Uh, there was no point to this video. I just wanted to have some fun and talk about something that interests me. I hope you had a good time. I hope you like it, and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye-bye.